Hi everyone, uh, let's try to understand the power flow and induction motor. Okay, and we'll try to use the power flow diagram and try to apply this on the structure or the components, the different components of the induction, induction motor. So we start here with the PN, the input power. This is a motor, so the input power is electrical. So we have root 3, V line, I line, cosine, theta. And this is the power that is supplied through the three phase. This is a phase, second phase, and the third phase. And for each phase, there are two wires, the starting and the end of the, of the winding. So either this is delta or Y connected, then this is your input, input power. Now the power will go through the wires into the stator. So there will be current in the winding of the stator here. So since there is a current in a winding, this is an I square R loss. So we will have here the stator power loss or cover loss in the stator. Also, there will be a flux going inside the, the stator and this flux will produce the core loss in the stator itself. So we will have the, the core, the core loss. Now, we have the PN, and when we subtract from that the core loss and the stator cover loss, we have what we call the air gap power. What is, what is the meaning of air gap power? It's the power that is actually now moving from the stator to the rotor through the air gap. So this is called air gap power. I have this amount of power converted or this amount of power that is subtracted from the losses here now will make it or will reach to the to the rotor and then after that we will have the rotor cover loss because the rotor basically they are rods short circuit from both sides cover rods so we will have a current that goes through these this road induced current because of the rotating magnetic field so we will have actually a current in the rotor and this current will produce the rotor cover cover loss now if you subtract the air gap power the power that make it from the stator to the rotor minus the cover loss from the rotor we have what we call B convert this is the converted power from the PN and will be ready now converted will be ready to be converted to a mechanical power. But now as the rotor start to rotate here, there will be friction loss, there will be windage loss and some stray losses. Stray losses because we have a lot of currents everywhere. So in, in the different metallic structure, we'll have start to have induced losses there. Now, when you subtract all of these losses from the B convert, you will get the P output, which is basically a subtraction of the B converted from the friction and windage and the miscellaneous, and this is the output power. So this is the power flow starting from the PN until we reach to the, to the P out.